My name is John Morosky, CEO of the Fayetteville Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, and I'm so proud to be able to represent the community of Fayetteville and Cumberland County. And it's quickly revolving into being known as the Fort Bragg Communities of Cumberland County because of the patriotic fervor that exists here, the American spirit that's alive and well in our people. And while most communities have monuments, museums, such as Washington, Philadelphia, Boston, and patriotic communities that you would typically think of, Fayetteville really is the, the factory tour for um, patriotism because of our connection to Fort Bragg, the men and women that defend our, our freedoms. In fact, if you come to our downtown in Fayetteville, you'll run right into Center Square, which is our marketed house. And on that land is where our forefathers uh, ratified the Constitution. And from there, one mile up the road is an Airborne Special Operation Museum that pays tribute to the men and women in the Airborne that defend those freedoms. And if you go five miles more up the road to Fort Bragg, you'll get to see the men and women, our heroes, in action, practicing, learning, and being ready to go defend those rights at any given time. The Airborne and Special Operations Museum was opened in August 16th of 2000. And what you'll find here in this 59,000 square foot gallery is a self-guiding tour starting in 1940, traveling through the exploits and history of the Airborne and Special Operations Soldier of the United States Army to the present. In Fayetteville, they're known as history, heroes, and a hometown feeling. What a better place to visit than the Airborne and Special Operations Museum. We have the history and we have the heroes. The North Carolina Veterans Park was opened in conjunction between the state of North Carolina and the city of Fayetteville to honor the veterans throughout the state of North Carolina. It is a place where you come to reflect, to look back at your service, to tell your grandchildren what you did and how you did it, and remember the good and bad times, and that's what the park can help you do. The um, Oath of Service Wall in the Community Plaza is where you see the hands of not only the service members as they gave their Oath of Service, you have the hands of the community members of their county. It's a way of tying in that the military is not just the soldier, the sailor, the airman, the marine, the coast guardsman. It is the family members, the parents, the wives, the husbands, the children. It's everyone. Again, there are lots of sites um, to see. In fact, there are 31 military sites. We have a whole trail dedicated to going to see those sites. So if people really want to learn about the background of military in Fayetteville and Cumberland County's connection to that, um, they can take that educational trail. But a must, I think, is a stop at Fort Bragg to go see the museums on Bragg, to watch uh, the parachuters coming in, and most importantly, to grab lunch and sit down with the men and women and, and perhaps buy them lunch or to say thank you, shake their hands, and, uh, and show your appreciation for them. Time Magazine named Cumberland County America's most pro-military community. We are a sanctuary for the military. We will look after you, we will look over your shoulder, we will take care of your family. We've got hundreds of support groups in this community. We've got resources dedicated to helping. So that, that, that's our community. Um, it's real, genuine, appreciation and satisfaction for the military.